This is a video on how to do, uh, how, how to create a box plot and come up with the five number summary for a set of data. So I have organized a set of 13 values here. 3, 8, 11, 11, 11, 13, 15, 18, 18, 20, 25, 29, and 31. That works for any size uh, data set. So it really doesn't matter. But the first thing that we're going to find is the median. So the median of a data set is the middle number. There are 13. So it's really going to be the seventh number in from either end. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 15 is the median. It's also known as Q2. More on that later. Now imagine that uh, the median divides the data into a lower half and an upper half. Each of those halves now have six items. So in the lower half, we can count and find the median of the lower half, which is going to be called Q1, or the lower quartile. And the lower quartile is the, in this case, falls between 11 and 11. Now, if those were different numbers, we would average them together. Since they're both the same, we don't have to. So Q1, or the lower quartile, is 11. Now, you might imagine that the upper quartile, we're going to do the same thing with the upper half of the data. And that's going to be called Q3. Starting to make sense, hopefully. So that's the upper quartile. And it's the average of 20 and 25, which is 22.5. Now we're just about done the most complicated part, which is kind of exciting because I don't really feel like it's very complicated. Um, so we're going to find a minimum value. The minimum value of the whole set is 3. We're going to find the maximum value, and that for this set is 31. And this is actually our five number summary. Five number summary is pretty easy to find, and you need it in order to create a box plot. So, looking at our values, now we're going to develop our box plot, which is a, a graph that sits just above um, a number line. So, we'll start with a number line. We got plenty of space down here, so I think I might be able to go by probably twos. I think twos might work. So two, four, six, eight, ten. I don't have to label every single line. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, four, six, eight, ten. So that would be thirty, and there's thirty-two. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark my minimum and my maximum. So my minimum happens here at 3, and above 3, I'm going to put a little X or a dot or some sort of indicator. And also here at 31, at the same height, so right on that second line, I'm drawing another X. So those are, that's the, the max and the min visually on this, on this number line. Okay. And then at each of the quartiles, Q1, Q2, and Q3, I'm going to draw a vertical line. So my first quartile happens at 11. I'm going to draw a vertical line at 11. My median was 15, so 12, 14, 15, which is here. Draw the same length vertical line. And then 22 and a half, which I would say is right around there. Draw another vertical line. Now what we're going to do is we're going to complete the box by just boxing in this area and then complete the plot by extending 
to the min and the max. Oh, almost got it that one. There we go. And that's a box plot. Now what a box plot does is it allows us to see where the data falls. So 25% of my data falls in each of these quartiles. So we have this first quartile is 25% of the information. The second quartile is 25%. Third quartile is 25%. And the fourth quartile is 25%. So 25% of the data falls in each of those ranges. So it allows us to see where the data is concentrated. Like this is the, sh the smallest um, distance between the quartiles. So therefore the most concentrated area of the data. And that is a box plot and five number sum.